Hi there, this is Coco. She decided to come hang with me while I made this video. So on page 14 of the pastoral ukulele transcription, we have a passage that goes like this. And the way I fingered that is it's in what's called a campanella fingering. That means all the notes are laid out across four strings rather than in a linear fashion like maybe this. This is on one string. Or this would be just in one position playing with a typical scale form. And then here's how I arranged it in the pastoral transcription. I really like that sound kind of better because all the notes overlap into each other and creates that harp-like effect that's kind of a magical effect that's really unique to the ukulele. Okay, if you uh, click below and get on my email list or go to the blog post for this episode, what you'll see is a sheet that has some of the other tetra chords that you can play in the key of F major on the ukulele. And I'll demonstrate those for you right here. So what we're going to do is play the F major scale. We'll play the first four notes. Then go up to the second note and play that. And then a, then here. And then here. But instead of playing them in a linear way like I just did across one string, we're going to play them across all of the strings and create an overlapping kind of effect. So here's the first one. So you can see that's kind of a stretch. My pinky is on the F on the fifth fret of the third string. And then the next note, the G, is on the third fret of the second string with my third finger. My second finger is on the A on the second fret of the fourth string. And then my first finger is up on the B flat on the first fret of the first string. So the frets are from the fourth string to the first two, five, three, one. Now if I go up to the next position, move all these notes up to the next note of the scale, I get this. And for me, I had to use, if you look on the chart that uh, you can download, I had to use the second fingering there because for me it's not comfortable to stretch my second finger over here like that. So I put a bar across the third fret. My third finger is on the fifth fret of the second string, and my pinky is on the seventh fret of the third string. Then for the next one, move everything up one more note in the scale, and I get this. like that. So there I have an A on the ninth fret of the third string, the B flat on the sixth fret of the second string, the C on the fifth fret of the fourth string, and the D on the fifth fret of the first string. And I'm using fingers one, two, three, four like that. Uh, frets from the fourth string up five, nine, six, five. You could also do a bar there. Then the next one is a little bit easier. So I'm going to move up with my pinky to the 10th fret on the third string. Third finger is on the 8th fret of the second string. My first finger is on the 7th fret of the fourth string. And then my second finger is on the 7th fret of the first string. Okay, so there we have B flat, C, D, E. And then finally, the tetrachord that I use in the pastoral transcription is all the way up here. Pinky fingers on the 12th fret of the third string. Third finger is on the 10th fret of the second string. And then my second finger is on the 9th fret of the fourth string. First finger is on the 8th fret of the first string. So C, D, E, F. Okay, and this is a good exercise to do. Maybe start with the tetrachord down here. Just move up through the tetrachords.
and then back down again. It's a really good workout for your left hand to do that. Kind of a finger buster there. Uh, one secret that I uh, have if you're going to try that exercise is my pinky finger is going to stay on the third string the whole time while I'm doing that. So have fun with that. In the comments, let me know if you have any questions. And if you are not getting a page every week of the Beethoven Pastoral Symphony transcribed for solo ukulele, well, why not? Get on the email list down below uh, using the, the link down there. All right, see ya.